I've wanted to talk about Transformers Authentics for a while now because it's an interesting line. The, um, the larger class here, the Alpha class, has some pretty cool figures. Uh, the Megatron's great. The Optimus is pretty good. Um, the Bumblebee's, it, it's an alright kid's toy Bumblebee. The Grimlock's pretty nice. And this Soundwave, uh, definitely the nicest out of all of them. But this Soundwave has been, almost in an odd way, kind of a grail figure for me this year. Uh, it came out earlier in 2020. Uh, this video may be co going up by like January 2021. But for 2020, this guy, I've, I've been hunting all over. Um, I've looked at where I work. And uh, we usually get in the Transformers Authentics, but we did not get the Alpha class this Christmas season. Past couple Christmases we have. Not this one, which is great. We actually got the other two size classes, the Alpha and the Titan. And we got the new Starscream and Ratchet for those sizes, but we didn't get the Alpha class. And I had been looking at Walgreens. I didn't see them at Walgreens. We got Speed Racer passing by. Uh, didn't see it at Walgreens. I didn't see it where I work. Um, but I popped into a Dollar General. I normally don't go to Dollar General, and they had it. Uh, so that's nice. So if you're looking for this, go to Dollar General. I think maybe Family Dollar also has them, but I found it at Dollar General. So go there if you're looking for uh, authentic Soundwave. Because this figure is pretty cool. If you're a Soundwave fan, I would say this is one you should actually consider getting. Even though it is a budget figure, it honestly offers some cool stuff about it. I uh, like this box art. Look at that box art! Yes! I love it. I live for that box art. I actually do. Um, that box art makes my dreams come true. Look at that. Hell yeah. The figure, unfortunately, doesn't look as epic. Dude, <laughs> dude almost looks like a dark trooper with those triangular like visors that are glowing red, honestly. Um, but you can see Dollar General didn't want you to steal it. And you can see it's just a package. And there's the instructions. It's a pretty easy transformation. Evil Decepticon spy. Uh, yeah, there's that. And here's the figure, and it's not bad. Um, it's not great, but it's not bad. Uh, for an instant size comparison, here it is with the sound wave most of you will probably have. Siege sound wave. So you can see uh, Siege is a lot darker, which honestly I prefer the darker blue, and a lot shorter. This guy only costs $10, and he is outsizing this $30 Voyager, <laughs> which is kind of funny. And feeling the weights... Uh, this guy's, I mean, he has Ravage in him. I actually do have Ravage in him. But feeling the weights, this guy's not much heavier. I mean, I can definitely feel the weight, and there's definitely a difference in complexity. But for only 10 bucks, man, this is, you can't really go wrong with this. It's a pretty cool figure. Uh, and then, comparison to my all-time favorite sound wave, here it is with Music Label. So there's that. Uh, honestly, though, I really do like this sound wave. <laughs> I'm happy I finally tracked it down. You can't really find it online. Uh, if you find it online, you'll be paying like 25, 30 bucks, which don't do that. Try to find it in stores for 10 because it's not the most perfect thing, but it's still a good figure. Um, and on, I mean, it warrants an individual review from me. Normally I do old versus new for Transformers, not individual reviews. But let's look at the details. Because this is where the figure has some issues. Like that head. <laughs> Doesn't look nearly as cool as the box art. Not gonna lie. I mean, it's still... Like, if we ignore the visor, it still looks pretty cool. But something about the visor it looks kind of dorky. Like, I can't really put my finger on it. Like, comparing it to this badass music label visor, I guess it's just not big enough. And it's not angular enough. It just looks kind of dorky. But... And it doesn't really... It's not, like, recessed into the head at all. The head looks kind of flat. But it's not, it's not that bad. It's a kind of more unique design. But he does have like the Cyberverse styled sort of, you know, thing there. And he does have his shoulder cannon, which is nice. Which you can take that off and have him hold it. Uh, his chest has some nice detail on it. He does still have the buttons on the crotch. Uh, he actually does have a fair bit paint. Fair bit of paint. Let's not forget the word of. That is a word. You can see some gray there. Like it, he has paint on him. He's not totally unpainted. Actually, has like a fake chest on the hood of the vehicle. It's kind of interesting. But yeah, I mean, he's not that underpainted. He's pretty much just as painted as some Combiner Wars figures were. Like, looking at, back, looking back at some Combiner Wars stuff, some of them, like for the arms, aren't any more complex than this. Just like the three pieces. Wheel, upper arm, forearm. Seriously. But you can see he is pretty hollow. Like, look at that. 
And yeah, he's especially in these legs, he is a hollow boy. Now, granted, all of that space is filled up by the foot and the thigh for the transformation, but they make no effort to cover it up because it's a budget toy. But for a budget figure, the articulation is not bad. You can swivel that. The head's a little limited. You can only get it about side to side that much, which is enough for some subtle badass looking poses if he's just standing on the shelf, which is honestly kind of enough for me. Uh, you do have these that without moving those, the shoulders can move up about that far and they can move like that, which is great. And you have elbows. But if you move these up, you can get the shoulders all the way out, which is interesting. That's kind of like, it's so funny. They actually went through the effort of putting these panels here to hide the hollowness in the shoulder. And honestly, if we just pretend that those panels aren't there for a second, was that really needed? <laughs> I mean, it's appreciated, but was it needed? Hmm, I don't know. Nothing at the waist. Hips have pretty good range. Uh, kind of a little bit of a swivel there from the ball joint. He does have knees, which is appreciated. And his ankles, <laughs> they're on like a ball joint and a hinge. Uh, I actually don't have them out all the way because you have them out all the way. Look at how awkward that is. Doesn't really work. I mean, it's good for like poses. Like if you want him in a lunging pose, that's a good piece of articulation. But it's, you got to keep it back a little bit. Kind of make it look more like he's got bell bottoms. But with all this articulation, you can get him in some pretty cool poses. And that hinge and all that does actually come in handy with the feet. But he's not the most poseable and most badass sound wave in the world. I'm not going to tell you that you got to go get this thing right now, that he's amazing, that he's great. He's not the best, but he's still cool. As a sound wave fan, this is one of the more unique, cool pieces in the collection. Because it's a new, kind of unique design, too. It's the Evergreen sound wave. And I think it's going to be featured in, like, a video game, too, right? I don't really follow the Transformers games, but I think they're going to be using the Evergreen designs for the game. So, yeah, let's transform him. So, you pop those off, kind of to be expected. Put those up. And then put the hood up. Put the shoulders up. You can see how the arms just kind of nest into the torso there all nice. Then we're almost done. <laughs> just put the feet in. And then... Flip the legs. And as you can see, it's a pretty simple transformation. Definitely similar to the Cyberverse Warrior sound wave. Can't wait for that deluxe, by the way. I'm so happy they're doing that. Because the Warrior next looks nothing like the show. And then we get these on. Which, honestly, for this vehicle, I actually like having the weapons on it. And there we go. There's his armor truck mode. And I gotta say, this is a very nice sound wave alt mode. I've always liked Soundwave transforming into an armored truck. I wish this is what he transformed in, like, for the movies. For Siege, it would have been kind of nice if he didn't transform into some form... Like, into this instead of some formless spaceship. Uh, it's it's good. It's a good alt mode. Uh, it's it, it just... I mean, it's, it's a budget figure, you know? It's a budget figure, but for what it is, for only 10 bucks, I really can't complain. Uh, for only 10 bucks, this is the same price as like a little Legends figure or like a core class. It, it You can't complain. It's, it's cheap, but for how cheap it is, it's not bad. And here, look, let me transform it back. The transformation is really simple. It's kind of fun, too. It's actually really fun. It's just fun to just, whoop, just transform him real quick and just be like, yeah, it's freaking Soundwave, dude. I mean, this, this thing is definitely a toy that I would recommend for younger collectors or kids, too. Like, if you're a kid that's wanting a sound wave, this is a pretty good alternative. Like, I really wouldn't, you know, be like, oh, maybe you shouldn't get that one. No, this one's great. This one's great. It's not like a crappy sort of, you know, settling for an iffy sound wave. This is, this is a pretty cool sound wave. If this is a sound wave I had when I first wanted a sound wave figure, I wouldn't really complain. <laughs> um... Back in 2011, 2012, it was actually more like 2010 when I first really wanted a sound wave. I was like, oh man, I really want one. Uh, I wouldn't have minded this. Of course, I got the War for Cybertron Deluxe, which was, you know, it's a pretty great figure. But this one, I recommend it. If you're a sound wave fan, go out and get yourself an authentic sound wave. Uh, or if you just want like a interesting sound wave for your collection, go ahead. Because I mean, it's not going to have like the, the badassery of the siege in the robot mode. 
I mean, compare this head sculpt to what is, in my opinion, the most badass sound wave head sculpt. Like, that is simply badass, and then that's just kind of a, a thing. <laughs> it kind of looks like a play school toy. But weird head sculpt aside, I really recommend this. If you're a Soundwave fan, go ahead and get it. Alrighty, guys, that's my review. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, make sure to comment, like, and subscribe. Check my social media links, PO Box address, all that down in the description below. Uh, let me know if you guys want me to review Earthrise Soundwave, because I did get him. And I actually have him out because I'm thinking about comparing Earthrise and Siege. But, I mean, I already did. I thought bumping into the camera was going to be over. I'm so animated with my hands when I talk. <laughs> I thought, um, you know, I already did an old versus new on Soundwave with Siege and G1. So I don't really know if I need to with Earthrise. But let me know if you want to see that. If you want to see me talk about the Earthrise Soundwave. Because it's pretty great. Like, it's really good. Alrighty, guys. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.